this baby <laughs> okay this is the last time I'm trying this I've tried a couple other times and my camera is just being dumb I'm just taking little things out little by little because I'm tired of saying them several times so this is a rain month update I may repeat stuff from two months ago or I may leave stuff out <laughs> I'm sorry if I do. I don't think I'll leave out any important stuff. I don't think I'll leave out any important stuff. But uh, it's been two months, so I don't remember the last what what all I said in the last video. It's been so long. Oh, that feels weird. Um. So before I forget, because uh, now that I mentioned it, um, Gwen, she two days ago, um, yesterday was. Sunday, so Saturday the 13th, um, June, July, July 13th, uh, Gwen got her first tooth. It broke through. You can't really see it very well, but you can definitely feel it. I can definitely feel it with my, with my nail. <laughs> and I can feel it with my finger, but right now she's upside down. So it's on her bottom, uh, it's like a bottom tooth. It's on the bottom. Um, but she had a tooth breakthrough, so she's been kind of fussy. Um, so that's one exciting thing. She's got a, she's got a tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing we discovered this past month, past, past month or so, is that she has eczema. I kind of noticed some stuff in the winter, but didn't think much of it because I thought it was just winter and it was dry and stuff. But um, she has some eczema on her, like the creases of her arms, and like under her knees, like the creases of her legs, and on her cheeks a little bit. I don't know if you can tell or not. They're not too bad right now. Uh, so that's going on. We got a couple creams for that. Um, one that's stronger and one that's not as strong um, to put on more often. Um, and then a bigger thing that we're kind of dealing with. It's not like a huge deal, but it's it, it's more something that we're more like, I don't know. Ow! Ow! <laughs> it definitely feels different when they bite down on your finger and they have teeth. Oh, she's putting her legs up. Are you being silly? She's being sad right now. Um, so sorry if she's if she's fussing and stuff during this. Um, so yeah. Um, one of the things we noticed uh, this past month, past month or so, we kind of noticed before that um, that she continues to be. Um, she's kind of been behind on some things. I might have to walk in the other room. She's kind of been behind on some things. Um, she's doing better with a lot of the things, but she's kind of behind. Alright, we're going to try this again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know what was going on. Maybe it's her teeth. Um, but... Because she was a little behind on things, um, she wasn't sitting up yet. She, like by seven months or eight months or whatever, because um, she's eight months now um, as of the second, she's not sitting up yet. She wasn't really putting pressure on her legs, um, which she is kind of doing now. And she's not by no means trying to stand up or anything, but if you put her down, she doesn't always automatically lift her legs up. She'll like lock her legs on the floor. So that's better than it was. Um, um, I think those are the main things, and just she's not really crawling or anything. She's scooting a little more, especially if she's on her back, but she actually hasn't turned, um, she's, she started kind of and didn't do it and, um, consistently, but she started turning from her belly to her back when she was four months, um, like a little after four months, but, um, Still hasn't turned from her back to her belly yet. I mean, partly because she doesn't like being on her belly. Um, she does better. She'll be on her belly longer now without getting upset, but she won't purposely turn to her belly, so she hasn't yet turned from her back to her belly yet. So there's that. She hasn't done that. Her back to her belly. 
rolling over. Um, she hasn't, she isn't able to sit up yet, but she's getting better at that. Mm -hmm. And um, she wasn't really putting pressure on her legs, but she's doing that more now. Um, and she'll put pressure on her legs and stuff more now when she's in the, like, in the activity center. I haven't put her in a walker in probably a couple weeks at least, but, um, in the walker and the activity center for a while, she would just lift her legs up and maybe kind of rest them, but she definitely wasn't, like, trying to stand in there. Um, and she's doing that more now, so she is getting better, but those are the things that she's not able to do that I think she probably should be. Um, and of course, if she's not like crawling or sitting up or whatever, she's not pulling herself up on things yet. So there's that. Um, so we looked into physical therapy um, and we haven't started it yet. She hasn't started physical therapy yet, but we're, I think, at the point right now where we're just kind of waiting for it to become available. And I think she's going to go to uh, Grady, which is a place in Delaware. It's like about a half hour or so away, half hour, 45 minutes from here. And she'll probably go there once a week. Make sure this is still running. Um, my video camera's been dumb. Uh, so, so that's happening with that. Um, the lady's coming today to do the IEP type of thing, um, which is mainly uh, that's going to be stuff that we'll work on, we'll work on here at home to help get her better. But then they'll have she'll have the physical therapy once that starts, which will go once a week. Um, they also discovered that there's. And I notice it too, kind of, but um, there's like occupational therapy stuff that she's going to need. I'm going to rest my hand here. Um, she's going to need some occupational therapy stuff, which if you don't know, physical therapy is like the large motor stuff, like the legs and like standing and all that kind of stuff. And then occupational therapy, because I didn't know, is like more of like the small motor, like working with her hands and stuff, uh, which she doesn't hold things for very long or anything, so... There's that. And then the leg, or not the leg, um, her eyes. Um, I don't have much to update on that except that next month, she'll be nine months by then. Oh my goodness. I need to sit down or something. My arm is hurting. Oh gosh. Oh. Um, hopefully she won't start crying. Um, but we have her next eye appointment. Um, the last one was in February. She has the next one next month, two days before her nine month checkup. So. That's coming up, mm -hmm. and I can update you next, well, at her like 10 month mm -hmm. or 10 month update about that. Um, but that's kind of what's going on right now. We're getting ready to do physical therapy and stuff, and I can update you maybe next month on how that's going, because we haven't really started yet, but she's a little behind on things. We're going to be having her do physical therapy and occupational therapy. They, both, they offer it both at the same place, so we're going to be doing those. And then she'll be working on with a lady here on doing stuff. Um, uh, before physical therapy, before she starts that, she'll be doing that, that stuff here. And maybe during that too, it'll ask for some little extra help, kind of knowing so I can know what to do to help her here. Because um, I don't have all the stuff that they have at the physical therapy place. Um, so that's mainly her update. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did. Just burped. You. Um, yeah, she finally got her first tooth on uh, June, or July 13th. You alright? You got hiccups or something? Um, she's going to be working on physical therapy and occupational therapy. She's got this eczema that we're dealing with, but it's not a huge deal unless it's really warm and she's outside. Uh, she started talking like this more. <laughs> that's that's going to have to be it. I'll see you guys in the next update. Oh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. I hope I filled, I told you all the important things. Oh, she did go swimming for the first time yesterday. Um, at eight months, she went swimming for the first time. I mean, she didn't swim, but she was in like a pool for the first time. Anyway, she's a little restless right now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Toodles.